is the key difference, and that's what I see in JJ McCarthy. What I see you don't is a know, five. You don't know. You don't you know. Think you know. Dude, you don't that's the, know. That's the you fucking point, Terry. You're no, going back. That is the what point. Did in Jesus high school. Christ. I, oh, holy hell, Terry. I can't believe this is coming out of your mouth. You're, it to the college semifinals. You're not making it to the college semifinal this year with Cade McNamara. That I can guarantee. Did you just think State was going to beat Michigan last year? I actually had Michigan State winning that game. And what about the first And I time? had Michigan State and Michigan starting the season off 7-0. So I was pretty right. spot on last year. All right, that was pretty good. Yeah. But, I, you know, for the most part, in this town, Michigan State is viewed as a not as an inferior, inferior yeah, I don't know why. program Mi to Michigan. Up until this season, Michigan fans are, uh, you know, a bunch of delusional idiots. Uh, they're really up there with some of the worst fans because you had gone 10 years without beating Ohio State. In the last 14 years, I believe you had only beaten in Michigan State four times, if the right. number's correct. Mm -hmm. How is Michigan State the little brother when they've been to a college football playoff and you haven't? When they've won the Big Ten more recently than you have, and they've won multiple in that stretch while your last Big Ten title came in 2004. I never understood that. All right, let me, uh, let me educate you on that. You know why? Because in college football, we still live in the 1970s. We're still living with Bo... And uh, we're st still living with Michigan State being six and five every year. That's the mentality that hasn't left. Um, the fact that Michigan State has won 10 out of the last 14, I bet you a, a bunch of people, and when they hear that for the first time, they're like, really? No way. Way. Things have changed. But, you know, Michigan State is still considered little brother. They still consider an inferior program. But... Um, I tell you, um, I got to know William Golston, who uh, played for Michigan State, and he said any time that Michigan starts talking the little brother BS prior to that game, he can guarantee Michigan State's going to win that game. So it's perception. No, I get it. I get it. And speaking of perception, we got to talk about Michigan. Yes. Defending Big Ten champions. Mm -hmm. Their schedule is, uh, I would say it's more of a cupcake schedule, eight home games this year. Right. And what I'm expecting out of Michigan is to contend for the Big Ten again. I expect them the last game of the season, however that may be. The last game of the season in Columbus, if they win that game, they go to the Big Ten Championship. Even though that's the reality most years, that's got to be the expectation this year. You're talking 10 wins minimum by the time you're getting to Ohio State. I'm thinking 10-1 and one is realistic. 9-2, and two, I you're okay with but then you have to rely on ohio state possibly losing another game before then and i think ohio state are going to run the table this year cj stroud returning and jibba smith marvin harrison jr that team is just going to get better and they're going to be so much better on defense i think ohio state's the clear big 10 favorite but michigan you want to talk or you got to step up it's time to now take take advantage of the phenomenal season you just had. Don't sit there and follow it up with an 8-9 win season. Go out and win 10 games, double digit. Finally win a bowl game. If you can beat Ohio State and Columbus, that would be fantastic. Great, you're in the Big Ten title game likely again. And if not, oh well. But compete. Uh, that's the key word. Make sure you're competing by the time you roll into Columbus. Don't be out of contention and, oh, we're just going to play it. Like, I want to see a 10-win team likely by the time they're in Columbus, Terry. Michigan needs to do two things. One, they're going to have a very diverse offense. The wide receivers are great. Um, I'm expecting, and I know they have Blake Corum, but I'm expect, expecting Donovan Edwards to be like a monster or close to it. And the second thing Michigan needs to do is take Michigan State seriously. Now, I think they go into that game, yeah, we're going to win, we're going to win, well, we're better than you. No, you got to go into that game and like, these assholes can beat us. They can embarrass us. So you got to, we, we need to be more serious about this game. State is serious about the Michigan game. They go in focused, pissed off, and ready to go. Michigan is more like, yeah, we want to win this game. Yeah, it's a rivalry game. But they don't take it as serious as they should. And that, that's, that goes back to the whole Michigan arrogant asses. You know, uh, who's got it better than us? Nobody. We're the greatest. No, you're not. You think you are. You think you can beat everybody else, but you got to put in the time and you got to put in the preparation and you got to put in the mental work. With Michigan, I think it comes down to one thing. 
are they going to start White Boy at quarterback? And right. if they're not going to start White Boy at quarterback, <clears throat> you know, I'm going to have to do some things I don't want to do. So I'm I'm tired of hearing well you know, we Kate McNamara, he's a Big Ten winning quarterback. Huh. Well, he and, is. Well, it doesn't matter because <laughs> it just doesn't matter. And I'll, again, I'm just gonna try to explain it to you guys one more time. You guys, I'm losing patience with this whole Cade McNamara thing. He's a very good game manager. Uh, he won't turn the ball over. He won't make timely mistakes. But what you lose or what you gain in not throwing interceptions is what you lose in converting third and sevens, third and eights. What you lose on first and ten taking deep shots down the field. The guy can barely throw the ball 15 yards downfield. And okay, you don't believe me. True. And if you don't believe me, it is actually really true. If you don't believe me, go back and watch every single Michigan game. Not at, not the first four games of the year. Go into the heart of the Big Ten schedule and go see what plays were ran when Cade McNamara was the quarterback. It was obviously run-heavy uh, focus of an offense. But the key, key strategy for Michigan was when J.J. McCarthy was in, the wide receivers would run vertical and do comeback routes. When J.J., or excuse me, when Cade McNamara was the quarterback, it was a bunch of underneath and mixed uh, misdirection uh, plays. That, and that is the reality of Michigan. They are limited under So Cade you just McNamara. want to be entertained. I don't want to be entertained. Bring. No, I think they're... What is that Michigan's is, ceiling as a football program? Michigan's ceiling right now with Cade McNamara. No, no, period. What, what is mean? Michigan's ceiling as a football program? Competing for the Big Ten every single year. Okay. And they and then, did that last year? Yes. And won it? Yes. For the first time in and, 14 years. No, 18 years. Right. And McNamara was the quarterback for one year, did it his first year. Now, their ceiling is this. Their ceiling is winning the Big Ten, going to the college football and losing. semifinals. But why and is that? But why kicked. is that? Why because is that, Because the program Terry? is not as is – not, Right. As okay. talented as Georgia or Alabama. They don't have that's, the five-star guys, right? No, they don't. Well, what made Clemson a five-star program? Was it that, oh, they had really good talent like a Michigan does? Or was it, oh, Deshaun Watson showed up and you finally had that X-factor quarterback that could actually help you go toe-to-toe with an SEC team? Right, what is that is Peyton? the key difference. And that's what I see in J.J. McCarthy. What I see you don't is a know. five— You don't know. You don't you know. You think you know. Dude, you that's don't the, know. That's the you fucking point, by, Terry. You're no, going by that is the what point. he did in Jesus high school. Christ. He's a guy that— t- well, He's a five-star recruit. Over. I need to see him that on the field, Terry. Anything. Yes, it does. I don't want to see some mobile— Holy hell, Terry. I can't believe this is coming out of your mouth. Terry, he's a five-star recruit. I like never got the win. quarterback you, right. You, you just like you. I want to have fun. When no, I, go I the don't. Game. You're the yes, one you saying you're that bullshit, that, Terry. Hey, entertain that, me. I don't that care BS about winning. is coming out of your mouth, Terry. I haven't once said that I want to be entertained by Michigan. But you, you I don't care. Said it, but I you're think the ceiling. It. No, I am not. The ceiling is so much higher with JJ McCarthy, and that is the reality. And if you just want to stick with Cade McNamara, you can enjoy lo- enjoy losing games to Michigan State. You can enjoy losing to Iowa, and you can enjoy losing this year to CJ Stroud because you're not going to go toe to toe with him again. But you know what you said yesterday? I asked you, well, what if you you start your boy and you win eight games? You said, fine. What if I start Cade McNamara and win eight games? How about you start Cade McNamara and make it to the college semifinals? You're not making it to the college semifinal this year with Cade McNamara. That I can guarantee fucking T every you know single what? one of you. You can guarantee fucking T me. Last year they weren't going to go there. Oh, my right, goodness. Here, let me say this. What does Peyton Thorne, Stetson Bennett, and McNamara have in common? Game uh, game managers and their fans. What do they not have in common? No, what do they have? What do they and, absolutely do not have in common? Georgia has an absolute unit of a program. They have five star recruits at every single position, and they have seven, eight guys that are going to go probably in the first two rounds. Like it's not even a okay, thing. It's but not Michigan even a comparison. went to the semifinal. Michigan State beat Michigan. It could have gone if they hadn't screwed up against Purdue, and uh, Stetson Bennett, a guy that. Georgia fans said all along, get this mug out of here. He sucks. You and keep telling what? me that, oh, well, Michigan, all they do, all they can do is compete for the Big Ten. And then they'll go to the college football playoff and lose. Fine. How do you get past that? How do you ever want to be great? Give a chance to the goddamn five star recruit. Why the hell is he here? Do you know how you become great? You get better defensive linemen. You get a better offensive line. You get better. And they had it this they- year and they got dicked by Georgia. 
Because, because they couldn't they, run the they, ball no, on an actual have. football team, and the quarterback couldn't throw the ball downfield. That was the reality of that game against Georgia. And when J.J. McCarthy walked in, they actually started moving the ball downfield against Georgia, but it was too freaking late. They are already down 30 uh, You know points. why? Because Georgia's over there playing with themselves because they knew this team was done. They had nothing to worry about. Terry, That's why. Terry, this is a football team that can win games with Cade McNamara. That I won't deny. But this is a football team that has a ceiling right now with him that's so obvious. And if you put in a guy like J.J. McCarthy, you have an opportunity. I'm not saying it's a guarantee. <laughs> you have an opportunity to reach a higher ceiling than normal. Den um, I, I, don't, I don't know how else to all explain right, it. Right, I really so, don't. You're so killing me. So if we put in J.J., then Michigan could. I'm not going to say will. Okay. Could win the Big Ten, go into that semifinal game, and not get their asses kicked. <laughs> That's not the expectation, though. No, no. The you're expectation saying, is if you, you put him in. That could if happen. you put him in, and let's say they, hypothetically speaking, they go out and they win the Big Ten, right? And they're convincing, and they beat Ohio State the last game of the year. Well, then I'm feeling really good about my quarterback, and I'm expecting to win that college football game. Yes, I'm not expecting. Oh, just not to lose. I'm happy to be here. Like you want to win these games, that, Terry. No, 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 brother. And you don't want to do it by luck. It is. took them 10 years to beat Ohio State. You know why? Because they just couldn't recruit a goddamn quarterback. They always had a defensive front. They always had a run game. They always had a hell of a ton of talent at the wide receiver position. What do you know? They never had a quarterback that could throw the goddamn ball. I All don't right. want to hear it with Cade McNamara. Right. Sorry. No Did way. you see the Michigan-Georgia game? Yes. The, Michigan was overwhelmed at... Like because they had a statue at quarterback no, that no, couldn't no, avoid no, no, anything. No, no, no. Come because on, man. Because they didn't have the talent. Dude, the Big Ten doesn't have the talent to compete with Alabama. What happens when the and Big Ten And what do you need to get over the hump these? with those teams? You need a goddamn dynamic quarterback that can actually give you a chance. Since you're so undermanned and so overwhelmed. You need a dynamic quarterback that can give you a chance. And that's what J.J. McCarthy is. That's what Deshaun that's Watson what was for Clemson. You don't know that. I do you know that. I've is. seen it. That's how Clemson went from just a standard team winning 10, 11 games in the ACC okay. to they took that next step where they were actually okay, competing. Okay, that's Deshaun Watson. That's an entirely different Why guy. are you recruiting five-star quarterbacks, Terry, so they can fucking beat Deshaun Watson? Well, you know what? He must not be beating out McNamara in practice. So I he must know. not be all that in a bag of chips, Or brother. Michigan is a stuck-up program that doesn't want to, I don't know, get out of their old goddamn ways. Oh, well, game-managing quarterback, I can win eight, nine games, and I'll keep my job. How, or instead of taking a risk, like you said, maybe they win eight games. But damn it, at least give me a chance, Terry. You don't have a chance in Columbus playing the way you did last year because, one, you lost your entire edge rush. That's gone. You're not getting to C.J. Stroud 15 times from one side of the line of scrimmage. It's just not going to happen this year. It took you 10 years to beat Ohio State. It's going to take you another 10, Michigan, if you keep playing this Cade McNamara game. I promise you. I promise you, Terry. So you think Michigan can win a national championship if they put D J.J.? I think Michigan can compete for a national championship given the way they recruit every year with that caliber of a quarterback, yes. And I'm talking about a five-star quarterback, not just J.J. McCarthy. I'm talking about bringing in a goddamn legitimate quarterback that they haven't had forever. No, we're talking about J.J. McCarthy. Yo, J.J. If, McCarthy, if, again, if, my expectation is a five-star recruit. I expect him to be one of the best quarterbacks in the nation. That is an absolute expectation. So, and if he isn't, God damn it, they need to get the quarterback right, Terry. We'll always go back to them getting the quarterback right. That is what is preventing them. They had the talent on defense this year. They had a pretty decent defense. They have three guys that are going to be drafted in the first round before he tore his Achilles, uh, David Ajabo. Him, Daxton Hill, and uh, God damn, uh, Aiden Hutchinson. Mm -hmm. On the offensive front, they've always had a pretty good offensive line. They've always been able to run the ball. They've always had a ton of talent at wide receiver. They never had a quarterback. That has always been the missing link. Mr. Quarterback Whisperer Jim Harbaugh. They've never had a quarterback. That's what's held them back. And last year, you can get away with beating in Ohio State. I'll give you your roses. That was great. That's I was Ohio at the game. State Very good performance. Ohio State last year. Thank you. And when Ohio State is Ohio State this year, and I think they're probably going to go undefeated this year and run the table... Well, then what? What are you going to do in Columbus when CJ starts throwing for 400 yards? Then what? Are you going to run the ball, Jim? You're going to let McNamara throw a three-yard underneath route to Eric All? Fuck off, man. Can't, can't happen. Or we can have JJ throw that big interception that uh, seals the game for a while. Matthew State. Stafford threw 17 interceptions. God damn it. Give me a guy that's taking chances and trying to win a goddamn football game. I'll live with it. All right. But that's the NFL and college football. Two different animals. College football. In the college... only way you can win with a game manager is if you're a program like Alabama and Georgia. Nobody else does it. Nobody else. It is not a thing. 
Nobody else wins with a game managing quarterback outside of those two core, uh, those two programs because they are literally full of NFL roster or excuse me NFL talent. It's just well, not even a thing. Michigan State won with a game manager. Michigan State, what do you mean? What they win? They won nothing. They beat Michigan, who's the Big Ten uh, champion. Come on, yeah, they, they, they had, did because they, they have a guy if, that if they had a Heisman front runner at running back that ran for five touchdowns. And it took Michigan, who played good football for three quarters, to choke. And their quarterback, by the way, Cade McNamara, who couldn't complete a goddamn pass in the fourth quarter. Come on, man. And they brought in their, your boy, J.J., who screwed some he stuff up, too. He didn't screw it up. My God, we've been over this a million times. You're, Blake you're, Corum you're, you're, you're thought delusional. it was a play-action pa- Oh, my God, it was not a play-action play. You love Corum this guy so off. much you can't see. You no, are blind. No, I'm not. Like this is hey, hey, so can be- we get this man a, a little white cane glasses? and some sunglasses? Cause he's blind. I, I don't know I don't know how I can help you guys. Like I'm trying to help you take your program to the next level. And you're just not listening. You want to sit there and, and stroke your dick with Cade McNamara. Oh, my God. We won. Get, congratulations. You're going to go another 10 years not beating Ohio State. I don't care how well you recruit. They recruit at just as high of a level, if not more than you, especially at the quarterback you level, the movie? especially at the offensive talent level. And the only way you can overcompensate, or excuse me, the only way you can overcome that, Terry, is by getting a very good offense. That is today's, oh, my goodness, Nick Saban. Admits that you can't stop anybody. Nick Saban, Mr. Defense, Mr. I built my program on defense, admits that you can't stop anybody. And you know what Nick Saban's, uh, excuse me, Nick Saban's recipe for success is? Getting the quarterback right the last few years. Tua Tagovailoa, Jalen Hurts, now uh, Bryce Young, Heisman winners, Heisman contenders, mobile quarterbacks, can throw the ball downfield, can escape the pocket. Even Nick Saban is doing it, and we're sitting here at Michigan. Oh, I'm so happy to keep Kate McNamara. We're going to win 8, 9, 10 games. Oh, my God. Fuck you, Michigan. Sorry, Terry. How are I, th- you? I think most mis- most Michigan fans agree with you. Well, you know, maybe not most, but a lot. And I think you're playing with fire. College football, yes, you can win with a game manager. This is not the NFL. Uh, when NFL, yes, you need a superior quarterback to win. I will grant you that. But in college football, you can run the ball. You can just, you know, run you it. Can run and you can run the ball and beat Washington. You can run the ball and beat uh, Iowa. Hell, you can beat Penn State. You're not going to beat Ohio State, Georgia, Alabama, Clemson. None of the top programs now. USC is going to be back. They're probably winning a natty in their first three years under Lincoln Riley. Like, it Do is a talent why? business they because they got talent. Yeah, they and got they're also going to have a mobile goddamn quarterback. Not not always. Alabama just started that. They've but, been doing it for the last four fucking years. Okay, four years. How long has Nick been winning it's national been, championships? That's the point. He built it on defense, and the, the whole landscape of college football shifted. Now it's more offensively progressive. Now even Nick Saban admits, yeah, can't stop teams. I need a quarterback that can do it all. Now he has them like... I don't know. I don't know, Terry. Do you, do you know why Alabama has won? Because they have kick-ass DNs, and they have a great running game. You can't – Nick, most of the time, when he's in a jam, he'll tell his offensive coordinator, give me your best running play. That's what he does because he's got great talent. That's how you Terry, win. Terry, if I can admit, okay, if I, and I, I'm, I'm willing to play ball here. I can admit that Cade McNamara last year was a good quarterback for Michigan. He was good. He was actually very good at times. He was a very good game-managing quarterback. The problem is there is a ceiling. There is a cap. I always talk about this with Jim Caldwell, right? Nine and seven, nine and seven. You know, we talk about three winning seasons and four, two playoff appearances, but there was always a ceiling. You never felt like you could win the division. You never felt like you'd win a playoff game with Michigan. Even if they win the Big Ten, congratulations. That's what you should be doing every few years, not every 18 years. Michigan, if you want to be taken seriously... You need to get with the times. And last I checked, you didn't recruit J.J. McCarthy to sit him on the bench for a stick of a quarterback and a statue. I, it's just not a conversation. I, Again, you may be very right in saying that they win eight, nine games, whether Cade or J.J. is a quarterback. But damn it, I have a better shot at beating Ohio State, Iowa, Michigan State, and any of these SEC teams. If I've got a mobile dynamic quarterback, and that's it's not to be entertained. I don't care about entertainment. <laughs> You're trying to win football games. And when I look around all of college football outside of Stenson Bennett and Georgia, 
They got a mobile quarterback. He can throw the football. He can move around in the pocket. He can escape pressure. And he can make a play or two every single game where you're like, what the hell is that? It keeps you in the game or it wins you the game. And Cade McNamara doesn't do that. He doesn't do. He didn't do it against Michigan State. Hell, he'd even do it against uh, Ohio State. If anything, in the game against Ohio State, Michigan go down, get seven points. Everything's off to a good start. They ran all over him on the first drive. That's Michigan football. C.J. Stroud throws an interception. What does Cade McNamara do? <sighs> Buddy, you throw an interception. Let me meet, match your interception with one of my own. Why? Because he forced it down the field, and he never throws down the field. That is the funniest thing about him. Like, you, I don't know. I, I feel like I'm going in circles here. You are going in circles, and that's fine. But, you know, the thing is, I think Michigan's ceiling, no matter who quarterback is, is to win the Big Ten and then get smashed in the college football semifinals, no matter who it was. McNamara Even if I told you you had Deshaun to Watson, if I told you you had Deshaun Watson last year, okay, mm-hmm. and, and, and college, that version of Deshaun yes. Watson, mobile quarterback, one of the top five quarterbacks in the country at the time, playing at an elite a level, could run the ball, could throw it anywhere, it doesn't matter. Wouldn't you feel better going into the Georgia game? I would feel better, but I would know what the outcome. But you would know be. you'd have a chance to win. No, you wouldn't have a chance to win no, because that's where I we think disagree. Michigan is was so overwhelmed that like 85 percent of the positions that even if you had Deshaun Watson, it wasn't going to make a difference. Look at the Big Ten when they play in the college football semifinals outside of Ohio State. What happens? Ass kicking. Game is done after the first half, or at least in the third quarter. Okay, you, you know guys, what's you going on. And, and it has nothing to do with the quarterback. It has to do with all the other positions. For all you dumb motherfuckers out there talking to me about Cade McNamara and Justin Herbert, and that, oh, well, look at Justin Herbert. He was a mobile quarterback. He was dynamic. What did he do? I'll tell you what he did. 3,800 yards, 32 touchdowns, and six interceptions. What did McNamara do? 2,500 yards, 15 touchdowns, six interceptions. Well, Herbert is an NFL quarterback. I'm McNamara talking about his college not. stats. His senior year at Oregon. Like, there's a big difference. 32 touchdowns to 15. 1,300 more yards. The same amount of interceptions. And Herbert threw 10 extra times you that Cade McNamara did. I'm comparing the, the college, is the landscape of NFL college football. Quarterback yes, to a guy but at the time he wasn't. Nobody was considering him. He was a young prospect, raw at the time. Uh, we passed on him. Like, no. At the time. This is what I mean by the college quarterback. I'm not talking about Justin Herbert in the NFL. I'm talking about him in college. You need these kind of guys. They elevate your program. J.J. McCarthy can be that guy. And if you don't play him, you won't know. So you can either win nine games this year, eight games this year with uh, Cade McNamara doing nothing all game and watching you run the ball. Play the Michigan way. Have at it, Bo. Have at it.